what's up everyone it's maddie welcome back to the next episode in the cloudcraft series so a lot has changed since my last episode of cloudcraft in case you guys didn't know if you don't really stay up to date with my twitch channel i actually just moved to a new home which is why our streaming room looks totally different and i know the audio is also a little scuffed temporarily i still have to fill up the room you know get some acoustic panels get some furniture and then after that i promise the audio will sound so much better going off of that i also want to update you guys on a couple things there's been a lot of frequent asked questions regarding when the regular uploads are coming back when i'll be streaming cloudcraft on twitch etc and i just want to let you guys know that i did not quit cloudcraft i love minecraft i've been having so much fun playing cloudcraft but with that being said i've been trying to figure out how to balance my time and still be able to grind fortnite and stream that as much as i'd like to while still making cloudcraft episodes not to mention like i said we also had to move recently and i got COVID, which is not enjoyable whatsoever so i've been pretty busy and with that being being said, I'm definitely going to upload more Cloudcraft videos now that we are starting to get settled into our new home and I'm feeling a lot better and slowly recovering from COVID. So you guys can expect to see a lot more Cloudcraft episodes coming from me in the future now. So for today's episode of Cloudcraft, I thought it would be fun to come back to the SMP with a bang. So I had this really fun idea to start a secret mini game. I'm gonna make a custom banner and I'm gonna hide it in somebody's base. When I do that, I'm also gonna put a book with it and I'm gonna log the person's base that I hid it in and the date and time when I hit it. So when this member finally finds the banner in his or her base, they have to go into the log and they have to document when they discovered the banner. So for every hour that the banner is successfully hidden in someone's base, they get 10 points. At the end of 30 days, whichever member has the least amount of points is the winner. All right, with that being said, if you guys do end up joining this video, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like and subscribe if you're new here to more Maddie Enough. And let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright guys, so first and foremost, I'm gonna head into my house and I'm gonna try to create a cool banner. You know, I'm a little bit lazy. I was thinking I might be able to look up a, a custom banner design that's kind of like relates to Cloudcraft in some way. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that seems a little bit difficult, so I might just see what patterns our loom gives us and just make one of those patterns. I think that probably sounds like a good idea. So we're gonna need some wool, we're gonna need some sticks. Okay, we have no sticks apparently, so we're gonna have to make some sticks. Let's see. Oh, there are sticks, but they're just in here. Also, this is in the wrong spot as well. Love that. I think there might have been an accident while I wasn't on Cloudcraft. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> Galvanize. <clears throat> QQ. QQ is the bear. Accidentally blew up my storage room, but it's okay. We're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> it's okay. Everything is fixed. Everything's fine. Yeah, the, the accident was dealt with. So some things might be a little bit out of order. Okay, so we have some wool. Let me grab some dye as well. I feel like I feel like red is a fitting color for this banner. Maybe we'll do like red and blue. Do you have red dye? Red dye or blue dye? We'll see. One of the two. Oh, purple. Purple dye. So now we're gonna need a... I'm gonna use a shulker box for this. Let's go with a blue theme. I stole this light blue shulker box from QQ. So we'll use that. And then I'm also gonna use this light blue dye actually. And we'll go for a blue theme for this mini game. I think that will look pretty good. Uh, we're also gonna need a book. We're gonna need a feather. And we are going to need an ink sack. And I think that should be everything. So let's see, do I have a loom here? Uh, I don't see one. I don't think I have a loom. I'm just gonna go to my other house. I could make a loom, but I don't feel like doing that. So if I don't have one down here, I'm just gonna run to my other house. Okay, I do not. So let's go to the mansion and let's get this banner started. Okay, here we go. We got some, some looms. So I'm gonna add this wool. Oh wait, we have to make the banner. Oh my gosh, I'm slacking. I'm a Minecraft noob now. I take a little bit of time off of Minecraft and now I'm a major noob. That's okay. Okay, so we need a... <laughs> <laughs> we need a crafting table. So we're back to the other house. So we need a white banner. And now we go back to the loom. I swear, someone could steal something valuable from my wall and I wouldn't even notice. Don't tell that to Milo. I watch Milo's Minecraft videos and I know he is out here stealing. He loves to steal. He's crazy. Okay, so let's see. Uh, what is fitting for this mini game? It's like this one. This is kind of cool. The cross. I think I might go with this. The white and the blue on the bottom. So let's do that. So this is the banner that is going to be the hidden piece in this mini game. So now we have to go ahead and we have to write the rules in this book. Oh. I need another crafting table. So, I mean, I guess we're done with the loom. So that's okay. We'll head back over to our other house. Okay, so back to the crafting table and we're gonna make a book and quill. Now let's get started on creating the rough draft of the rules for the mini game. Hello. Ah, 
<laughs> okay, now this is gonna get tough. I have to come up with rules for the mini game. I'm really gonna have to channel my inner creativity today. Listen guys, I'm sick. I just had COVID. My brain is going a little bit slow. I'm still recovering. So this might take a while. <laughs> A few moments later. Hello, you have been selected as the next player in the official Cloudcraft secret mini game. Please read through all the rules carefully so the game runs smoothly. This banner was hidden in your base by another member of the Cloudcraft SMP, making you the next player in the game. You get 10 points for every hour that this banner remained hidden in your base. The player that hid it here logged the date and time that they hid it, and it is now your responsibility to log the time it was found, update your point total, hide the banner in another player's base, and update the logs accordingly. At the end of 30 days, November 7th, the mini game will end and the player with the least amount of points will win a secret prize. That means you want to find the hidden banner as soon as possible so it stays in your base for the shortest amount of time, allowing you to get the least amount of points. Good luck, have fun! So I'm consulting my Twitch chat here. What do you guys think? Should we allow them to hide it in a chest or should it have to be out in plain sight? We definitely, we, we do have to specify because somebody that, we want it to be clear. We don't want there to be any confusion and, and people to start like finding loopholes and stuff, you know? So what do you guys think? Out in the open? Okay. The banner must be visible in the base, not in a chest, shulker box, under blocks, etc. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so this is the point totals. We have Maddie and F, Cuke is the bear, uh, Ducky the gamer, Ms. Pickle, Dylan. Oh yeah, Riss, Miss Cloudy. Okay, let's see, we'll put Milo. I don't know if he plays. We'll put Sid, Orba, Bewitching. Oh, Kaz, does Kaz still play? I don't know if Kaz has been playing. I'm not putting Punisher. You know what, I'll put him, just for the heck of it. Bonsai Bros, Autumn, Aeolus, Golden, Luffler, I see Blaz. I have not met those guys. <laughs> Is that everyone now? Lastly, please do not, I repeat, do not sign this book. It will prevent people from updating it. So next up is the log, banner log. Let's see, we'll put 10, eight at We'll say 10 p.m. Does this, does this look good? I have to make sure that it's easy to update. You know, we want this to run very smoothly, so I want it to make sense. So there's not any confusion. Okay, make a little circle. Banner log, oh boy. Okay, so I'm gonna start with QQ Bear. So finish this. Now I'm gonna head over to QQ's base. We got everything that we need and I'm gonna hide it. I'm not gonna make it too difficult because QQ is the first one. Like I said, this is a secret Minecraft mini game. So I have not discussed this with anybody. The only people that know of it are you people, you guys that are watching the YouTube video, <laughs> as well as the people that are on my Twitch stream. And other than that, nobody knows about it. I don't think anybody in the Cloudcraft SMP is aware that this is going on right now now so with that being said i don't want to make it too difficult for qq you know he's my little brother i love him i don't want it to be too hard for him so i'm gonna hide it somewhere a little bit obvious you know not too easy but definitely not hard i don't want to make it too hard for him and i think we'll see it's gonna get gradually more difficult to find this as the mini game goes on okay so let's see i want to find somewhere where qq doesn't go super often or maybe i could be nice and put it somewhere super obvious but I'm thinking, you know, I heard he say, he said that he wasn't like having a ton of fun building this anymore because he knows he isn't gonna use it super often. You know, not nearly as often as his his regular stuff, like his storage room and his main house and even like his barn. So with that being said, I think I'm gonna hide it in here and it'll make him go in here into his town hall. But I don't wanna make it too tough. Maybe I'll put it in his secret room. I know that QQ has a secret room. It's off of his cafeteria. He's planning on putting something very secretive in here. And I feel like this would be a good spot to put the banner. So let's see, I'm gonna hide it right here. Pretty, pretty out in the open. Uh, let's move this. Actually, let's move the banner back one. Put the banner right here. Okay, then we're gonna put this shulker box here. And so let me update the book. So right now it is 10, 8, uh, we'll say 10 p.m. We'll give him five extra minutes. This is brutal. This is late at night. <laughs> Poor QQ. I feel kind of bad doing this to QQ. I might shoot him a text and say, listen, QQ, there's something hidden in your base. You got to get back on tonight and find it. I don't want him to start out at like a huge disadvantage being the first one, you know? Okay, that's good, right? 10, 8, at 10 p.m. CST, Maddie to Cuke. And we'll say Cuke found and leave a blank for him. Okay, looks good. So I'm going to put it in. Put it in the shulker box and we are good to go. I feel kind of bad for QQ. I hope he finds it. How do I close this? How do I close this? Oh, wait guys, how do I make the door close? 
Oh, oh my gosh, that was scary. I swear if the door just stayed open, it would have been so sad. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, that was a close one. So with that being said, I am gonna head back to my base, get some work done on some other projects, and I'll update you all once QQ Bear finds the banner. Alrighty guys, that is gonna be it for this episode. I'm really excited to see where the secret Minecraft minigame takes us. I'm hoping this isn't too tough for QQ Bear. I'm hoping he's able to find it pretty quick so he's not at a big disadvantage right off the bat. But I'll definitely keep you guys updated and make sure to check out the content of the other members of the Cloudcraft SMP so you guys can stay up to date on the secret Cloudcraft mini game. If you guys did end up enjoying the video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here to more Mad Enough. And with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys. Uh -huh.